we're off to Love Island, the real Love Island. Snorkel Safari is definitely one of the highlights of my job and it is what I've fallen in love with. It's a whole other kingdom of Lundy under there. Right, a crab. Welcome to Inside Out West. Could Lundy be the real Love Island? Marooned about 150 miles down there in the Bristol Channel, it's a place visitors fall in love with. In fact, Sean Scott liked it so much, she went for the weekend and never left. It's probably the most remote community in the West. Just 28 people live on this rocky outcrop in the Bristol Channel, 12 miles from the mainland. It has unique wildlife. And the Lundy cabbage tastes more like mouldy, fermented, gone-off cabbage. And its own microclimate. The old light, you can't see it yet, but it'll come to view in about a minute's time. Oh, in it. the fog. <laughs> in the fog. Yeah. <laughs> getting on and off can be tricky. Yeah, I think getting stranded on Lundy is just all part of the charm of the island. Yet thousands of people flock here every year for a brief island experience. It's just a magical island, that's all you can say. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. But what's so special about Lundy that Sean Scott gave up everything to come and live here on her own as a permanent resident? Are we ready for our Lundy adventure? Yeah. All right. This is the old like cottage and I came and stayed here for my 30th birthday in February 2017. Definitely at a bit of a low ebb, I'd worked myself into the ground a little bit. I was doing a job that I loved but it was very physically demanding, um, doing a lot of uh, ranger work. I guess it was a time in my life I was looking for somewhere to think peacefully and have a bit of downtime outside the manic of normal life. Sean wrote a vivid description of her first day in the cottage logbook my first visit to Lundy and I've had a wonderful first full day. I walked around the entire island on the coastal paths. The weather was very kind to me. A magical mist enshrouded the morning, but it burned away to reveal expansive blue skies and restorative sun on my face. This evening I've been treated to the most wonderful sunset. The sun disappeared behind a cloud on the horizon and then half appeared again below the cloud as a blazing red semicircle. She got to see more of those sunsets than she bargained for. On the day that I was supposed to leave, Storm Doris hit and they wouldn't let the helicopters come to the island and I ended up staying on the island for eight days as a visitor. And in that time, I just kind of fell in love with it. And on the day I was leaving, I just asked uh, in the tavern if there were any jobs going and there was an assistant warden post. So I went home and applied for it and before I knew it, I was back here uh, living on Lundy. All right, guys, everybody about ready? My name's Sean. I'm the assistant warden. This job gives Sean the chance to demonstrate her love of Lundy to visitors. You can just see in this valley, the very pale yellow flowers a bit lower down yeah. is Lundy cabbage. So Lundy cabbage grows nowhere else in the world, okay. only on this island. And you're very lucky because it's just come back into bloom. Sean is also the island's education officer, a brand new role partly paid for by a million pound lottery grant that's been used for major repair work to St. Helen's Church. So guys, you can just make out the church now. I wasn't making it up, it is there. And it's been closed for some repointing and to be turned into our interpretation and education centre. The building work has taken a year to complete. When it reopens, it will contain a new exhibition about the island's history and wildlife. Sean played a major part in its design. It's been months of work of sourcing information and photographs and getting the tone right for the exhibition. Um, so yeah, it'll be exciting to see it finally going into place now. The Bishop of Exeter is coming to officially open it in two days. It's a race against time to get it finished. Meanwhile, Sean is getting on with her day job. Snorkel Safari is definitely one of the highlights of my job and it is what I've fallen in love with. It's a whole other kingdom of Lundy under there. We'd probably stay quite close in the bay, maybe hope a couple of seals will come up and see us. It's days like this when you wonder, how is this really my job? It's got to be the best office in the world. 
If this all seems too idyllic, island life does have its difficulties. An added challenge, not just to living on Lundy, but, but to my life in general, is I'm a type 1 diabetic. I do about five or six injections a day, and it's difficult getting supplies over here. Um, and most consultations I'll only have over the phone at the moment, so I'm not being seen quite as regularly, but um, very healthy, but it's definitely difficult. She has to rely on the shore staff on the mainland to pick up her prescriptions and put them on the ship or the helicopter. She learnt after her first visit to keep enough for an emergency. Luckily, I'd put in a few extra uh, little units of insulin and things like that. Uh, but the, when I got stuck here for eight days, I, I needed to go back on that eighth day to, to get my new supplies. Supplies of most things are limited on this island, just three miles long by half a mile wide. There's a small shop and a pub. The island's electricity comes from a generator, which is turned off at midnight. And during the drought this summer, they very nearly ran out of water. One thing in abundance, though, is wildlife, including a certain unmistakable little bird. There's one right there in front of me. Yeah! Yay! Woohoo! And we're happy. <laughs> they don't call it Puffin Island for nothing. This is Jenny's Cove, which is where the majority of Lundy's puffins live. But we've got lots of other seabirds as well. Kittywakes are flying around, razorbills and guillemots, and the European shags as well. So it's a bit of a bird paradise over here. It's the big day, the official reopening of the church. But the special guests have to get here first. The bishop is on the boat, and it's pretty choppy. It's always challenging when we have easterly winds, but this is looking particularly bad today, so it could be a bit of a chaotic landing. <laughs> we might have to come up with a plan B, but I don't know what that's going to be yet. We'll see what happens in the next few minutes. <laughs> in the end, it's plain sailing for the crew. Well, almost. Hello, Hello. Sean, nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you finally. Everyone flocks to the church and the bells are appealing to the bishop. <laughs> That's really great, actually. This stage has been in my diary for ages and I've been looking forward to it, but also slightly dreading the what's the weather going to be like. <laughs> and for very good reason. And not only can I not swim, but I'm terrified of the water. It's, I don't mind looking at it. Just don't ask me to get in it. To her relief, Shan's exhibition gets the bishop's blessing. I've been impressed too by these marvellous educational banners and exhibition here. Amazing to see it's all finally come together and I feel quite proud of it. It's really brought the space to life as well, so yeah, it's a wonderful feeling. It's always good, I suppose, and when you know you're towards the end of your day and everybody's back on the boat safely and you come back up to the island, you've got a bit of peace back. And a lot of the wild animals seem to know when the boat has gone and they all kind of tend to come back out of their hiding at the end of the day, so it feels like the island has been returned to our home in a way. And at times like this, Sean remembers why she fell in love with Lundy in the first place. I was especially lucky to see a doe and her youngster standing on top of a large boulder I managed to creep below the neighbouring boulder and photograph them. So much stillness, peace and beauty in that moment. I came here asking the universe a question and Lundy has answered it. I hope she answers your questions too, Sean. <laughs> Isn't Lundy a truly amazing place? Just like this. So, from a very windy River Severn, good night. Hope you can join us next week.